What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our college football channel. We continue with our 2023 predictions. Oregon State is up next. Oregon State's an interesting team. A lot of people really high on this team. Of course, transfer quarterback DJ Uwe Ungalale coming over from Clemson. Uh, how much better will he make their offense? That is, is a big story. I'll give you my thoughts on them in just a second. Let's look at some of the other predictions first. You see the FPI has them at 8.7 and 3.5. They're pretty high on the Beavers, especially uh, when you look at, at the fact that you know this is not a team that recruits really, really high uh, in the rankings, and the recruiting rankings are part of what goes into the FPI. Uh, so, yeah, seeing that number that high definitely is encouraging if I'm an Oregon State fan. Athlon has them at 8-4, and four, and then the over-under is at 8.5. So, based off of this, it seems like the consensus is that Oregon State will go 8-4, and four, or nine and three. That seems to be their most likely record here in 2023. So my thoughts on this team, I think they're a little overrated. I think DJ Uwe Ungale, um yeah, he's a big, nine, big name, but you look at what he did at Clemson with more talent around him, and it really was not all that impressive. Uh, and they don't really have a, a great group of wide receivers here at Oregon State. What they do have is a really, really good group of running backs. One of the most talented, deepest running back rooms in all of in the, in the country. I mean, they are really good there. Offensive line is really good. A defensive line is strong. On the defensive side, not great if you look at the linebackers and the secondary, especially the cornerback position. They're pretty good at safety, uh, but those corners, definitely a concern. So I see some holes with this team. I see some really good parts with this team, but also some parts that uh, definitely are question marks. So that's why I'm not sold on them being in that top tier of the Pac-12 like some people are. Uh, so let's get to the schedule here. I'll give you my predictions now. As they will start off with San Jose State on the road, then UC Davis, and then San Diego State. Uh, so it's three games where they're going to be favored by double digits, I'm sure, and three games that they should win. Uh, San Jose State, San Diego State. Maybe those games are a little bit interesting, especially San Jose State in the opener on the road. Uh, but I just think Oregon State is, is good enough the well-coached, you know, they're going to be able to run the football, do what they want to do, and they'll take care of business in these three games. And so I do have them starting off 3-0. and And then they'll play Washington State. Uh, so they'll start off 3-0, and then play Washington State with a game against Utah coming up after that. A huge, huge game there. And so maybe you overlook Washington State a little bit. I think Washington State is a team that's probably going to get a good, a big win this year. And I'm just going to say it's this one. I, I, don't, I don't really have any reasons x's and o's y or anything i just it's kind of a gut feeling i think washington state pulls off the upset here uh, and I, I think they win here so oregon state drops to three and one and again i say this in, in pretty much every video uh, i don't go through and and make my predictions totally off of each individual game i look at the re the overall schedule and decide what i think the team's record is going to be based off of that schedule and then i go in and fill in the games and so sometimes you just need a win for one team, you need a loss for one team, and that's kind of honestly what happened here with Washington State. Uh, but I think Oregon State loses that game. The next week they play Utah. It'll be a Friday night game. It'll be a loud environment there at Oregon State. And you're looking at two teams that are going to want to run the football. Uh, Utah, I think, a little bit more balanced on offense with some of their weapons in the past game. Uh, I think Utah's the better team. I really do. But... Again, those weeknight games, playing on the road for Utah, I think it's going to be really tough. We've seen Utah start slow in the past. Um, and so I think Oregon State gets a huge win here. I think they knock off Utah. That could easily be flipped. I mean, look, they could beat Washington State and lose to Utah. That would make more sense if you just look at how good the teams are. But that's not always how it goes in college football. Um, teams beat teams that they're supposed to lose to. You know, they pull off upsets, and then they lose to teams they're supposed to beat all the time. And that's just one of the things about college football. But, yeah, I, I could see it going either way there. They play Cal the next week on the road. You look at this Cal team, and I've, I've said this before, I really think they're being underrated. Uh, they're very deep. If you look at their roster, they've got experience at every single position. Uh, they've got depth at every single position. They had Ben Finley, the transfer quarterback, who was definitely – I, I was really worried about them, but now they've got a quarterback. And so that makes me feel a little bit better about Cal. They've got a great running back. Uh, they're very similar to Oregon State. I don't think they're quite as good as Oregon State, uh, but they're very similar, and they're probably actually deeper than Oregon State. Uh, but, yeah, playing at home, I think Cal probably, they're due for a big win just like Washington State, and I think that might wind up being Oregon State. Oregon State's not really going to out-talent them by a whole lot. 
And so I just feel like we could see an upset here. I'm going to go with Cal to upset Oregon State. And then you've got UCLA the next week at home. I think Oregon State, you're going to see some a lot of running of the football in this game. Both teams are going to want to run the football. Uh, UCLA a little bit more explosive in the passing game, of course. But you know we don't, we're not sure for sure what UCLA is going to look like. A lot of new faces faces for them. They have more talent than Oregon State, but it's again, it's college football. Anything can happen. Oregon State's playing at home. They slow the game down. They find a way to win. I'm going to pick the Beavers to pull off an upset. And again, most people are going to say, well, it makes a lot more sense to have them beat Cal and lose to UCLA or beat Washington State and use, lose to Utah. But home field advantage is really, really big in college football. We all know that. And Oregon State's a very tough place to play. So a home field advantage might could play make it play out this way. Or maybe it does go the other way. Who knows? They get a bye week after that. A really good time for one because if not, you know, you're playing a, a very good Arizona team. I say very good. A very solid Arizona team. A team program that's headed in the right direction. I think they're going to be tough to beat um, even for some of the top teams in the Pac-12. But a bye week would definitely help here. I think they use that run game. And they find a way out. You know, stopping the, some of those receivers for Arizona is going to be tough. But I'm going to say Oregon State finds a way to go on the road uh, and get this win. And again, maybe they lose to Arizona, but they beat Cal or they beat Washington State. Uh, a lot of different ways I could see the season going here for Oregon State. Uh, the next week, they'll play Colorado on the road. Uh, I think Colorado is going to struggle this year. I haven't done my predictions for them yet or I haven't done the video yet. I do think they're going to struggle. They've got so much roster turnover. Uh, it's like a brand new team, a new coaching staff course and all of that. Um, I think it's a team that gets better as the season goes. I think Colorado, by the time they get to November, will actually be playing pretty good football. Uh, this is a game where home field advantage could make the difference, and uh, that kind of seems like I'm going with that theme a lot here. Uh, but I'm going to I'm going to pick Colorado to pull the upset. And again, this makes absolutely no sense: beating Utah, beating UCLA, losing to Washington State, Cal, and Colorado is opposite of last year. Oregon State only lost to the good teams last year, although they did come close to losing to Stanford, and they were pretty bad. Um, so yeah, again, don't get too hung up on each individual game. Just look at the record at the end of the video. Uh, Stanford comes next there. Just talked about them November 11th. I think it's a much easier game for Oregon State this year, playing at home. Don't expect a whole lot from Stanford. I think Oregon State wins big in this one. Uh, they get back on track. Then a huge game against Washington on, on November 18th. Oregon State came close to beating them at Washington last year. This time they get them at home. Again, tough place to play. It's going to be that rush attack for Oregon State. They're going to want to slow this game down versus that wide open offense for Washington. A contrast of styles here. Um, and you never know what's going to happen. It does seem like a lot of times the team that slows the game down actually has an advantage. So you, so you give Oregon State the advantage there, plus the fact that they're playing at home. And that might be enough. I think Oregon State pulls off the upset over Washington um, and, and gets a huge win there to get to 8-3. and three. Then they close things out with Oregon on the road. A rivalry game, always good, always fun. Uh, I said before, I thought Oregon really was the better team last year. They let that game slip away. I think they do not do that. This year, playing at home, they get the win. They get revenge on Oregon State, and they drop the Beavers to 8-4. and four. So that's my record prediction. Again, it would I understand it would make a lot more sense if we're just talking about the, the, the games here. Uh, and, and the, the opponents, it would make a lot more sense for them to lose to Utah, UCLA, and Washington and beat Washington State, Cal, and Colorado. But I do think home field advantage will play a big key in some of these games. And I could see it going this way, or maybe some of these get changed around. But I, at the end of the day, I do think the record will be 8-4. and four. Uh, I just think there are some holes for them uh, in, in the secondary. The receivers, you know, there are some spots where I think Oregon State other teams are going to take advantage of that. Uh, maybe it's these four teams. Maybe it's a different mix of four teams. But either way, I, I do think they they finish with that eight and four record, uh, which is a little bit low compared to what some people are saying about this team. Uh, we'll see if they can prove me wrong. They've got a great opportunity. They've got a pretty tough conference schedule. Uh, would love to know your thoughts. What do you think about Oregon State? What do you think their record is going to be? And uh, give me your predictions down in the comments below.